الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد و علیہ و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد Some of the benefits of Laylatul Qadr that we have to take a look at the great ni'mah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and again this is the night of power this is the night when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends angel the angel Jibreel alayhi salatu wa salam and other angels and it's the night of power it's a night of ibadah when worship during this night is better than the worship during a thousand months wa hadha min fadli Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so strive your best to catch those last ten nights. And it could be uh, one of the odd nights as Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha mentioned in an authentic hadith where she said to look for it during the last uh, ten nights, the odd, one of the odd nights of the last ten. Qalat Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. Qalat Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. Anna Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. تحر الليلة القدر في وتر من عشر العواخر من رمضان. That Aisha رضي الله تعالى عنها said that the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said, strive to catch the night of power during the last ten nights of Ramadan. One of one of the odd nights of the last ten. And that's in Rahu Bukhari, Bukhari wa Muslim. And some of the benefits of standing in the night prayer during that time, as we're trying to get Tarawih and trying to benefit in the night prayer in Jama'ah, in congregation, what are some of the benefits? An Abi Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala anhu an Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal. وَمَنْ قَامَ لَيْلَةَ الْقَدْرِ إِمَانًا وَاحْتِسَابًا قُفِرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمِ مِنْ ذَنْبِ Whoever is standing during the night of Laylat al-Qadr fully believing in the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and striving to get you know, with sincerity and striving to, to get the reward from Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, Allah will forgive them of what they did from their previous sins. So Laylatul Qadr we can't afford to miss. Strive. Some of the things that a person should strive to do during Laylatul Qadr, first and foremost, as we mentioned, is Qiyam, Qiyam al layl That it is legislated to make the evening prayer, to stand in the evening prayer, to, to pray at night after Salat al-Isha, praying and striving to come closer to Allah, asking Him, begging His forgiveness, asking for His favor and blessings, and doing that in prayer, in Salat. And as we mentioned the hadith on Abi Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala anhu and the Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal, وَمَنْ قَامَ لَيْلَةَ الْقَدْرِ إِمَانُ وَاحْتِسَابًا قُفِرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمِ مِنْ ذِنْبِهِ That whoever stands, meaning stands in prayer, the night, during the night of power, believing in it, striving to, ha, to, 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 to gain the mercy and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and believing in it with certainty, then they will have their prior sins forgiven. Also, another beautiful and blessed thing is i'tikaf. I'tikaf. So striving, as the Prophet Sallallahu did the last ten nights, to stay in the masjid if you're able to. As the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam did. And he invited his sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum, ajma'een, to make itikaf, to seclude themselves in the masjid. And, 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 and use that time for dhikr Allah azza wa jal, for praying to Allah during the last ten nights. Keeping your ibadah, your focus on ilm, 
on coming close to your ibadah to Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is one of the great deeds of Laylatul Qadr. Also, it's a time for dua, for supplication to Allah. To strive to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, tabarak wa ta'ala, by supplicating to Him, asking for your needs to be met, asking for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless you, to forgive you, to grant you what you need, subhanahu wa ta'ala. An Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha qalat, Kultu ya Rasulullah, ara'ayta in Alamta ayya laylatin laylatul qadr ma akul fiha qala qawli allahumma innaka afuwan kareemun tuhibbu afu fa'fu anni Aisha radiyallahu ta'ala anha said to the prophet she said to the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam she said oh messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam If you knew, could see the, the, and knew the correct night for the night of power, or if I catch that night, what should, uh, what should I say during it? The Prophet wasallam said, say, O oh Allah, verily, you are the most generous, the all-pardoning. And you love pardoning. Please pardon me for my sins. So making supplication and making those supplications that are mentioned in the authentic sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is, is, is a beautiful deed to be doing during the Lay Laylatul Qadr, the night of power. Also in general, as we've already mentioned, just doing general good deeds. As Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, Laylatul Qadri khayrum min alf shahr. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the night of power is better than a thousand months. Meaning that it's better, the ibadah, the worship that you do and the good deeds that you do then is better than a thousand months of ibadah. We cannot afford to miss that. May Allah bless us with tawfiq. Ameen ya rabbil alameen. Those are some of the benefits we want to keep in mind about Laylatul Qadr. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.